This is a quick review of the gravity light. This is the main unit. A simple switch to change the brightness level. There's a hook on the top that's used to hang it up. And then there's a strip of plastic with holes punched in it. And that is going to feed through like that. So the two weights are going to hang on the strip and gradually pull it through. If I pull this hard now, you'll see the light come on. Okay. To attach the strip to the bags, there's a couple of clever little plastic hooks like this. So the strip feeds through and locks solid. Here's the other hook. This one's got a twist in it so that you don't mix the two of them up. Now this one with a twist in is to go on the counterweight bag. Which is the small one. And this only has between half and one kilo of stones in it. And I've actually gone for just putting half a kilo in because you, it's only to pull the strip back through when you're lifting the heavy bag on the other side. Any excess weight you put in this little bag will just reduce the force on the generator. The hook on the other end without the twist in it is for this hefty bag, which you can put eight to 12 kilos of stones in. I've gone for the maximum, loaded it up with 12 kilos. Finally, there's some very simple pictorial instructions and a heavy duty zip tie, which you could use to fasten the gravity light in a permanent position, ready for use. So I thought the shed would be a good place to test this out because it's only a temporary installation rather than using the zip tie that came with it. I've just used a bit of rope to attach it to the joist in the roof here. Now one important tip is have the hook for the heavy bag at a height where you can easily hang it on. So in this case I'm going to rest it on the workbench here and I've got the little counterweight there not pulling yet. So I'll hook up the heavy bag. Now I can let the counterweight off. And there we go. So there's three different light settings. Not a huge difference between them though. You do notice the rate that the strap moves through change. When this is on the brighter setting you can see the speed there and if I put it to the dimmest setting you can see it's moving much more slowly now. Not the bright one again. As you can see there's almost no sound coming from it. It's very very quiet. Let's try that with the shed a bit darker. Okay, so I've blacked out the shed windows, so the only light you're seeing in here is coming from the gravity light. If I turn it up, that's on its lowest, that's on its brightest now. And whilst it's not an amazing level of light, it's enough to see what you're doing, you can find things. Obviously when you go to lift the bag up, the light is gone. But it's very quickly back again. So overall I think this is a very very clever little invention and uh, I'll certainly be making some use of it out in the woods and maybe even here in the shed.